Today, we're going to play a game called Lions and Gazelles. Now, Lions and Gazelles, if you are a lion, you're not going to be wearing any flags, and if you're a gazelle, then you are going to be wearing flags. Now, remember, Lions and Gazelles are found in Africa, so we're going to call Inside the Cone Area Africa. And you cannot leave Africa, you must stay inside the cone areas for this one. If you are a lion, you can go and chase any gazelle that you want to. And if you go ahead and chase this one, you can take their flag. When you take their flag, you can only take one at a time. This is very important, otherwise the game's not going to work. So make sure you're only taking one flag at a time. You cannot have two flags in your hand. So when you go, you must put it, in this case, the hula hoop. Sometimes I'll put a bucket, but today I'm doing a hula hoop. And now we have two lions. Now you have a person who can help you out, so you want to use teamwork, and then it's going to be a lot easier for you to take the person's flag. So in this case, these two are using teamwork, and they easily get the flag. And remember, you can only take one flag at a time. So this person is going to go ahead and put their flag back. Remember, you can keep on you know, taking as many flags as you want, but you can only hold on to one flag at a time. That's what I mean by that. Now we have three lines, and remember, you want to use teamwork, so these two are going to kind of go in the same area. And this is going to allow them to go ahead and get a flag a lot easier. So this person decides to take this person's flag instead and that person's flag instead. So this is great. They're using some teamwork. And when it comes to the game when it ends, the game ends when we just don't have any more time left and that's the end of a round. And then we'll do a different round. Or there's no more gazelles left. And then, you know, we'll do another round after that. So if you have any questions how to play the game, feel free to let me know. Today, we're going to play a game called Tiger Tails. With Tiger Tails, they're zookeepers and they're trying to chase the tigers and take their tails. With the field set up today, there's going to be three main areas. Zookeepers will start by the hula hoop and then they will enter the zoo to try and take the tiger's tails. If your tail is taken, then you will go to the end of the line and so let's go ahead and see a demonstration of it. Zookeepers will go ahead and enter the zoo and they're going to try to take the tiger's tails. So let's see if they can get any tiger's tails. So this one is right here. He's able to take that tail and another tiger's tail was taken. Now you can only take one tail at a time and then you have to go ahead and drop it off in the hula hoop over here. Once you drop it off in the hula hoop, then you are free to go ahead and get more tails. Once you drop it off though, then you get one point. So both these people got one point each. And I like to set a record to see who can get the most tails in a round. Rounds are usually three to five minutes, so we'll see how well that they can do. Another way that I'll play it is I'll have a group and see how many points they can get together as a group. So we have these two people now who don't have tails, so they need to go to the end of the line. Once they go to the end of the line, that's good because they can get a water break because you guys will be running a lot, so don't worry. Normally, yes, I don't want people waiting in line, but this is one of those cases where you guys are running a lot so you can get your water break. Now the first two people in line can go ahead, go up, get their tails on. Once they have their tails on, they should not enter the zoo. They should wait for these two people who are puppy guarding to get out of their way. And now they can enter the zoo. Once you enter the zoo, then you are able to be tagged. So make sure that these people are far away and not puppy guarding you. Now, if you have any questions about how to play the game, feel free to let me know. Today, we're going to play a game called Sharks and Minnows. Now, sharks and minnows, there's going to be two sharks in the middle, and usually I pick a boy and a girl, and then the minnows will be on one side with flag belts. Now, I will count three, two, one, go, on, go. Then the minnows have to go all the way over to the safe zone. Once they're inside the safe zone, they cannot be tagged by the sharks. So the minnows are going to go, and then eventually one minnow is going to eventually get over to the safe zone, and now this person cannot be tagged by the shark. So the shark is going to try to get the people who are not in the safe zone. Now this shark was able to get this person's flag and now that person is going to turn into a shark because they don't have a flag. Now everybody else was able to get it to the safe zone so now what's going to happen is the shark is going to take the flag belt and drop it in the bucket and now the sharks are going to go line back up in the middle. And now for the next round the minnows are going to go and switch and now try to get to the safe zone on the other side. Now this time the sharks are going to count all together in one loud voice when I give them the thumbs up that the minnows are ready. So they're going to count down, three, two, one, and go. Now the minnows have to get to this safe zone, and the sharks can immediately tag the minnows who need to start running. So the minnows are going to start running. Eventually, uh, one minnow is able to get past, but then the rest of the sharks are able to get to the other minnows, and they take their flag belts. So 
there's one minnow left, that one minnow gets to the safe zone, and so that one minnow is the winner. Now, the game will reset, and everybody will get a bell again, and I will choose two new people to be the sharks. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Today, we're going to play a game called Mission Impossible. With the game Mission Impossible, what's going to happen is you're going to try to get over to the safe zone. And if you get over to the safe zone, then you can go ahead and take a beanbag. And there's going to be like 100 beanbags, guys. So you can only take one at a time. All right. Once you take one, then you can go ahead and try to get back to the other side. All right. So once you leave the safe zone over here, you can get tagged. But if you go all the way over to the other area, then you are now in the second safe zone. And you can go ahead and place the beanbag there. Now, we're never throwing the beanbags and we're never throwing them hard or anything like that. So please put it there gently. All right. Now there's going to be some people who try to go and yes, you will get your flag taken at some point during this game and that's okay because what's going to happen is the flag is going to get put by me and then you can go ahead and go over there and guess what? You get to put it on right as soon as you get over there. All right. And so I'll be over there. So if you need help, just let me know. And then what will happen is this is then you can go ahead and go to the safe zone if the, you know no one's trying to get you. And then you can take one beanbag because remember we're only taking one at a time. Otherwise the game doesn't work. And if you take more than one then I'll have to sit you out for two minutes or make you do jumping jacks or something like that. So please don't do that. Now this person is no longer in the safe zone. So can they get their flag pulled? Yes they can. All right. So in this case this person does get their flag taken. And that's okay because the flag's going to get taken and it's going to get put by me again. And that's where you'll restart. Okay, but you got to put the beanbag back where you got it first, and then you can go ahead and come back to me once you've done that. Now, there will be a time when almost the entire team of agents are able to go over to the other side safely, and they're all going to get the beanbags, and so the game will be over if they can get all the beanbags from one side all the way over to their side. Remember, guys, there's like 100 beanbags, all right, so it's pretty difficult. So they're going to try to get over there, and they have five minutes to try to get all of the beanbags. If they don't get all the beanbags within five minutes, then they lose. But in this case, they did, so they win. All right? After this, then we will start a new round, and the people who are in red will select the people and give them their jerseys, and then they will be the next people to go. If you have any questions about how to play a game, feel free to let me know. Today, we're going to play a game called Capture the Flag. Now, how do you win and capture the flag? You will have one team on one side and one team on the other side. Once you cross the cones, you have the ability to go over to the safe zone and take an object. Now, you'll need your entire team to help on this because you need to get all of the objects from one side and bring them back to the other side that you came from. So. Other players will try to tag you and stop you from doing this. But if you are able to go past the cones, then you have succeeded in bringing an object. You take that object to the safe zone. Once you have all of the objects in your own safe zone and there are zero objects in the other team's safe zone, then you have one. Now, how do you play? There will be cones in the middle. Once you cross these cones, you can be tagged by the other team. If they tag you and take your belt, then what they're going to do is they're going to give you back your belt and you are going to walk back across the cones and back to your side. Now, once you do that, you are back in the game once you put your flags on. Now, say you do make it past their defense and you make it to this area where the objects are. This is called the safe zone. You cannot be tagged in the safe zone. If somebody tags you in the safe zone, tell them that they're wrong and they cannot tag you, all right? You can only take one object at a time. Once you take that object and you leave the safe zone, you can be tagged. If that happens and you are tagged, then you are going to give the object to the other team and the other team is going to put it back in the safe zone. The other team is going to also give you back your flags and you're going to walk past the cones back to your side of the field. And that is how you play Capture the Flag. If you have any questions, let me know.